Let's talk about testing. So in summary, there are two types of tests that are important here. The test that we're hearing about today is measuring the RNA of the virus in the patients. Now you can imagine there's another test and it's called serology, which tests whether or not you, the patient, or anyone else has developed antibodies to this particular virus. Now the RNA test that we're talking about today consists of several steps. First, a nasal swab is done. In fact, in the past, it used to be both a throat and a nasal swab, but there's a shortage of swabs, believe it or not, my friends. So right now it's a nasal swab only. And then that sample goes through a specific kit that allows extraction of the RNA. And then ultimately, there are primers and probes, which are little pieces of uh, nucleic acid that bind. And with enzymes in a reaction in a tube, this is called a PCR, a polymerase chain reaction, that will amplify only if that SARS-CoV-2 sequence is present. Now, you may have heard of a shortage of tests. Now, first of all, the good news is that the FDA and the federal agencies have allowed the states to come up with their own tests rather than rely on one single universal test. One of the reasons there's a shortage is because every single item from the nose swabs to the tubes to the actual staff who is actually doing this work can be a potential bottleneck. So as soon as the number of demand for tests goes up, you can imagine that we will start encountering bottlenecks for these, especially the specific kits that are used for extraction of RNA. Where I work, uh, we were actually getting emails to donate some of our RNA extraction kits as supplies clearly a sign of the current shortages today. The ideal situation, of course, is for everyone to get tested so we can get all the statistics and we can know who to keep in quarantine. Some countries have figured out how to do this. Some countries have not. Until we get there, it is absolutely critical to save these kits for hospitals and staff in need for actual cases who end up in the hospital. If you found this information helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.